My name is Valeria Kinyuhuru. On graduation day, I was so excited because it felt like I was achieving one of my, uh, is it, one of my very big dreams. Because I, I, I always wanted to be a techie. The moment I stepped into Kiritics and just graduating and knowing that I will be graduating and getting a job and being able to support my family and uh, making their dreams come true, that was so exciting and I was so happy. My earliest memory of wanting to be a techie was when I first took my dad's laptop and I was trying to save a folder that already existed. So when I did, the computer said, this folder already exists, do you want to replace it? And I was like, wow, so someone wrote this, that the computer can know when a file exists or not. That was my very earliest memory of wanting to be a techie. I was given a poster by my uncle. I'm not sure how he stumbled upon it because he's not a techie. <laughs> then when he gave it to me, I went to, I wanted to confirm because many things like, he told me it was sponsorship, it was free. So I wanted to know if it was legit because it was Nairobi and yeah. So I went to Facebook, I Googled the Kiratics, I found it. I went through the reviews that were given, it was so nice. I went to Instagram, I saw everything that they were doing, the IoT devices, the, they were connecting like some wires and I was so interested. And uh, I went to YouTube too. I listened to Akiratex graduates, what they've done. And there was a video that was explaining how the school looks like. Yeah. Then I went to their website. When I got the call to join Akiratex, it was so relieving because I remember I was constantly praying every day like literally crying because I, I really wanted this so when Samantha called it was five so we were told on 29th you'll get a call if at all you're selected so that 29th was there I was with my phone the whole day from seven to four there's no call I was like yeah uh, this is done <laughs> I'm not going to get a call then at five Samantha called I was so excited I remember screaming yeah <laughs> Could have light was uh, the time that we were at home and we are now not learning uh, in class. We had to use our phones, particularly WhatsApp, to learn, and it was it was kind of difficult and exciting at the same time because now we had to code on paper, then take a screenshot and you know, take a picture and send it to your trainer, and sometimes just uh, listening to audios recorded by our trainers and videos. It was difficult because if you understand the IT world, software engineering to be precise, you can't code on paper because you have to code on an IDE and get to know where your errors are at. But then on paper, you don't really know. But I think that was a good thing for us because now we, we had a good grasp of the syntax of every programming language. <music> for a job during a pandemic was it was difficult again I won't lie because <clears throat> you're not sure if they're accepting internships or they want to offer jobs or not so what we did was we googled tech startups in either Kenya Uganda Tanzania the country that you want to go to then you write down the name then get a contact like go to LinkedIn find the employees find someone you can talk to because that would make it a lot easier because they were not advertising if they were looking for interns or um, software engineers. It was difficult. I remember I applied to over 60 companies <laughs> before I got accepted. I got my first internship with Native Coders. That was in October 23rd. It was <laughs> amazing. Again, I'll use that word because it was an international organization. and. Not even in my 20 years of living, I'd, I, I thought that I'd work with an international organization at all. I did my internship where I was given a project. The project was actually to create a website for a client. It was not really learning, but then doing, which is amazing. I was learning as I do, as I did, because normally in internships, you're supposed to be taught. But then I was not being taught, I was now doing. 
I created a website for a client. And uh, after that, I remember in January, there was no work. So it was just radio silence, but then they kept checking on me, are you okay? But then in, in first February, I received a call and they said, we would love to work with you. Then I jumped into the call, they told me their offer, and I remember negotiating my salary. <laughs> I did, yeah, and it was amazing. to negotiate came from school right from navigating a journey class we were always told don't just accept something that is being offered because that is what they offer you can always negotiate your way and then we are taught how to sit on the table that is when there's a meeting be there present your ideas and talk so that you can be heard and seen don't just sit at the background i think a lot of uh, my self-confidence is team boost just the person that I was after kinetics is credited to that class and professional development because we are taught how to navigate your journey through tech and professional development teaches you how to navigate your journey in a professional world and how to go about it and relate to your workers, to uh, your workmates. <music> let you know that you can do it tech needs someone who looks exactly like you I know the society has uh, has told you that a techie is someone who wears a hood and stays behind the camera and he's a man and uh, doesn't socialize but then I want to tell you that tech needs someone like you who socializes and is pretty and uh, wants to do everything so just do it mm -hmm.